So I have the new demonica. Let's talk about it. Hi guys, Logan here with the new video. Today I have something really cool to show you. This is an animatronic that I've been waiting on for a really long time. Super happy that it finally came out because Jesus Christ, guys, I was losing my patience with spirit. Not gonna lie. This is the brand new for 2023 demonica. This is Spirit's latest Flashback Friday. And, uh, man, they really held out on us with this one. They just did not want to release her until freaking Black Friday. I don't know why. I hate when Spirit does that. Especially with, like, bangers like this. This is, like, the prop that is separating the community right now. You either love it or you hate it or you blindly hate it. Yeah. I'm calling out some of you. I know some of y'all are just blindly hating this thing just for the sake of it. I like it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now. I like it. So you're probably you're probably gonna be unsatisfied with my opinion on this thing. I like this demonica. Sorry. If you want to just blindly hate this thing, you can go ahead and click off right now. Womp womp. So demonica is a really old character. Uh, I think she's from, like, 2010, I think. I think it's when she first came out. Uh, 2010 or 2011, somewhere around there. I think it's 2010. So, I just finished watching a video. The, um... I already forgot their name. <laughs> um, I'll link the video down below, but I watched a video of a haunter and um, Dr. Cocter, because I, I know Dr. Cocter, comparing an, an old demonica and a new demonica and making a lot of really fair points. And I'm definitely going to be repeating some points and some complaints they had with mine and some praises too. So um, I think the first thing we need to address are the hand issues off the bat. I have the problem with it. Everyone's having the problem with it. These hands right here are not fitting into these holes properly. They are not making the holes big enough. I fix mine with a really simple solution. It's called a heat gun. I just heat mine up. Press, pr, 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 b, 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 can't speak. Press them in. Now they are the perfect size and they fit snug. And they fit easier. I've seen people drill them and say, oh, I had to carve them out with a knife. Dog, I just use a heat gun. You can use a hair dryer. It's super easy, super simple. Um, that's just, that's exactly what I've done to get the hands in there. Now, I've done a little work on mine. You can tell she's had some TLC done. I've bladed up her mouth because um, her mouth is just painted a little, like, I don't know. I don't like how her mouth is painted. I don't. I feel like the teeth needed some shading, so I added blood to just kind of cover that up, honestly. But yeah. Um, added blood in your mouth. I saw someone else do it. Theirs look good. Did it on mine. Looks great. Um, satisfied with it. I also brushed out mine's hair. I did that for a specific reason. It's actually to hide some of the issues with the neck. Mine's having it. Others are having it. This likes to just scrunch up and pull out and expose all the internals. This, like, they didn't do really anything with this raincoat material. This, this is what this is. It's a raincoat material. And it's just pulling out. It's moving everywhere. So I brushed out her hair. Made it a little more dense. Just to kind of hide it. And also I wanted to blend in all the colors. Because she had like whites and grays and blacks. So and I think it looks better. Now one problem I had though. Is that her hair kept covering her face. So I tried trimming it. Well. I learned the hard way that they actually punched her hair into her head. So, mine's got these little holes now. I actually had to pull the hair out to properly style it so it wasn't so dense over her face. I know it's not really meant to be brushed out, but I will tell you, with time, it's going to eventually kind of look like this. Maybe not to this extreme, but, you know, I had to trim mine's hair and style it to get it where I wanted it to, to hide some of these problems. Because there are problems. I also distressed mine's clothing too. The old one had very distressed clothing. It was also kind of by accident because I kept brushing her hair so aggressively. But I did a lot of distressing with mine too. To kind of just get it to look like the old one. It's super easy. You just kind of tug on it. It's, I mean, it's freaky fabric. 
It's not like the original one, though. The original one, I think, was a lot easier to work with. But, yeah. So, um, a lot of people have been talking about how theirs are clicking. Mine is not clicking. I've had her running a few times. She's not been clicking. She actually runs very smoothly, thankfully. Though she's gotten stuck one time. And it's because of this issue right here. This arm. And it's this particular arm it's folding in um, they put like two pool noodles in here and it's adding so much weight where it just it flops over and, and it's gotten stuck a couple times and I've had to pull it that's that does scare me I think that's what's making people's click is this is getting stuck into the mech because it that's what happened once is it got stuck while she was resetting it just it it went in a funky direction. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put stuffing in here. I think that's what the original one had and kind of separate it like where the elbow is. I mean, that's super easy to do and I don't know, see if that works, but this is just, it's too heavy and it is definitely causing some problems and that frightens me. Now, some things I do really like about this. Now, I don't have an original one. I never had an original rising character from Techie. I like how she moves up at an angle. I think that looks more realistic than the original Demonica and the original like Howler and Damien. You know, all of those characters. Because they have her rising mechanism slanted forward, she moves forward while rising and I think that looks really good and it is very noticeable and it's a great effect it looks really good so I am a big fan of that again when her arm is not jamming her mechanism she moves smooth very smooth her head moves really well I I don't see there being issues unless you don't address this arm problem that needs to be fixed somehow um I, again, stuff it. Stuffing will fix it. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Another thing I really like is the base. The whole base and mech, or not mech, and the whole base and module situation. The module's not touching the ground. Old techie props were notorious for having the module built onto the very bottom where moisture could just very easily get into the, like the, the module. A lot of uh, states, especially for in, like the Midwest, you know, we get very moist and humid and wet autumns, especially around Halloween. That fixes a lot of worry, especially for me. I don't own a lot of very old techie items for a very good reason. I just live in a climate where it gets very wet, you know, it gets very humid. You know, we have a lot of dew, very high dew points, especially around fall. That fixes that, and it also makes it a lot easier to secure her into the ground, which I think is a massive plus. I think it definitely will help. And so, again, especially with her moving at an angle, it definitely will help her, you know, stay stable when you can stake her into the ground. I mean, I stake, I stake the hell out of my stuff into the ground, but I have, like, props like John Doe, for example. You can hardly stake him into the ground. Or, like, jumping, um, jumping zombie, too. Really hard to stake him into the ground, too. So I'm happy they did that as well. The paint job, I've, I've heard a lot of split debates. Mine looks okay. It's hard to pick up on camera, especially with such bright lights. They shaded mine pretty good. I've seen some bad ones. I've seen some good ones. Mine is good. I will say they look a little paler than the originals. And I'm not mad. Actually, I'm kind of happy because I don't like the very purple demonicas. I actually prefer the gray ones. So this is a lot closer to my uh, my version of a perfect demonica, if that makes sense. So I, I like this. I like it. And it is, I mean, it is very true to the original with some, you know, tweaks and they added the IR sensor. I don't know if the original one had like a motion sensor. I think it was, I, I think if I'm correct, it was sound and timer only. This one does not have the timer anymore, which, I mean, I'm not, I don't care about the timer. 
because it's a, it's, I mean, it's an IR sensor. It's going to send you up to like six feet away. So, but I, they, they, I'm glad they upgraded this. It is an upgrade. People are hopping on and say, oh, it's a piece of shit. It's not. It definitely has some problems, but a lot of these problems are fixable if you, if you really want to put forth that effort. I understand if you don't want to or really, you know, like, don't have the will to do it because I do have, I personally, don't get me wrong, have the belief that a prop should not need to be fixed out of the box in order to be good, you know, that, that's always in my belief, but I do think standalone, the demonicas are still pretty good, only thing that I do think needs to be fixed ASAP, two things, the hands, because that's a goofy little error, and that arm, this arm is okay, because it, it moves over this side, but so is this one, so this one's moving towards the mechanism, that one's moving out towards literally nothing, so... Yeah, so let's go ahead and run her and get her going. I do really like her. I'm hoping that they they fix they fix the issues with this one, and then maybe do the other risers. You know, like Howler and Damien. I'm a huge Damien fan. I love Damien so much. Let's get her going. Yeah, that's Demonica. I will say, face sculpt looks great. I don't know if it's the exact same or if they had already sculpted it. I've not seen like a close-up picture of both Demonica faces up close and right beside each other. I would assume, because she's so old, it's probably a re-sculpt. But I, I, I could be wrong. Maybe they've kept this sculpt around and used it like underneath props. Either way, it looks great. She is, for the most part, very true to the original. And I think it was a mostly well done flashback prop for Spirit. I'm glad that they definitely had Techie do something. And I'm more so satisfied with the fact that it wasn't a jump scare prop and it was something less predictable and something more beloved if that makes sense so and and it is nice to see demonica with very nice mech like mechanism upgrades upgrades um because the old ones just i don't know they need a little pizzazz nowadays and with the forward upward movement i think i think it looks better again there are some things that need to be fixed this broken arm look at that just look at it. that looks terrible it needs to be worked on it needs some love um in the holes again i used the heat gun that was super easy now it does make it a little hard to take them off when you put them back on it's super easy but i like that because it makes them very sturdy so they, they're not going to pop off on accident. They're going to stay on very well, which is great. And I do recommend you brush out her hair again because this like neck likes to pop out. I don't know if that was an issue on the original one. I don't have an original one. So I really don't know the all the pros and cons with the OG compared to this one. So, yeah. And again, the hair was very... Uh, Surprised by the uh, punched in hair. Uh, I was hoping she had a wig so I can just take it off, cut a few sections off, put it back on, and bam. But no, no, they, they punched in her hair. 
things tacky. But I, I recommend it, especially for the 150 price point. I don't have a box here, but the box is really small. And again, if you if you don't mind if you don't mind having to fix it, hey, go for it. If you do mind having to fix it, I understand. And that would be a valid reason to not like it. But it still doesn't make it a piece of trash. Because she still runs just fine. It still looks just fine. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. Happy holidays, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.